From home building rovers to microgravity exercise domes, the finalists of the Kids in Space Challenge brought their creativity to the table for a space themed STEM competition. These students came up with a way to provide their teacher with a happy life far, far away. He doesn't want to teach us anymore, so we made this for him to get away. They don't like me, they want to send me away, um, which is all right. I'll go live on the moon by myself. So they've designed me ways to eat, ways to get water, um, some entertainment things. So, yeah, they've done a really good job. Teams from the Northern Territory and Victoria have been crowned joint winners for their designs. The Victorians creating a hydroponic solution to grow food in space, while Team NT developed a sonar system to detect the best time to traverse Cahill's Crossing, a notorious stretch of water home to saltwater crops. It feels um, good and I'm excited. The Australian First competition aims to get more kids involved in STEM. About 10,000 students across 70 schools took part in the challenge, with each school provided with a 3D printer and resources to build their prototypes. Some of the students have never actually been on planes before or haven't left their state or territory, so to be able to bring them here into the heart of space for South Australia at the Australian Space Discovery Centre is just such an incredible opportunity. Bringing the next generation's passion and creativity to the forefront of of STEM ideas and solutions. Kids in space! <laughs> Olivia Mason, ABC News, Adelaide.